All right, all right. Check one, two, one, two. What up, everyone? This is another digital 262 production. You are listening to Elite Talk. What up, everyone? What up? Thank you for uh, listening to another episode of Elite Talk with my man G. What's going on? Blesses, King. What's going on, man? Blesses. How you feeling, man? Feeling good, brother. Looking good, brother. Looking good with that blue. A little bit. (laughs) (laughs) A little money. A little money. All right, all right. And in this corner, we got my man TJ. What's up, brother? What's going on, beautiful people? How you doing? How's everybody feeling? Yeah, you man. Good, my man. I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm just, okay. I'm just staring at both of you with that blue, man. Yeah. Last week y'all came coordinated with the red. Today you came coordinated with the blue. I'm starting to think I'm not getting this email, man. Right. It's not intentional, man. Hey, I told you, we, we real we brothers, man. We just think alike, man. <laughs> yeah. We long distance, and we be like, "This is what we finna do." Yeah. And yeah. then we just pop in, yeah. but bro was like. He walked in and he said, oh, really? Like, for real, for real? I was this close from turning around and going back to the whip. You know, something else, so, uh, I guess they, when they say great minds think alike, man. Great minds yeah. think alike, man. Yeah. That's it right there, oh, man. Great yeah. minds think alike. Man, yeah. I'm glad we're doing this again, man. What, what it, Man, you know what? Let's start out with uh, my man Avery. Yeah, man. So, man. check, man. Big shout out to Avery and um, his yeah. wife. Yeah. Uh, Stephen Avery and his wife, Kayla Avery, man. They, you know, tied the knot. You know what I'm saying? Me and my brother was a part of that, man. That was a big blessing, man. Young black couple getting married, you know what I'm saying? Have years behind them, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah. And just to finally tie the knot and make it as one. That's a blessing. That shows us that, you know, people can actually do yeah. it. Yeah. So, it, I honor that, man, 100%. And for me to be a part of it, me officiating it and doing whatever, yeah. that actually was a blessing to me. So, shout mm-hmm. out to you, bro, man. Much love. Thank you for letting me be a part of that, man. Oh, yeah. Much gratitude. Thank you for having us be a part of it, man. We just, we bless you, man, with the years of prosperity and happiness uh, with you and your beautiful bride. So, most definitely. Yeah, it was it was definitely a movie last night. So, definitely. We was. appreciate you. Definitely. Yeah, big shout out to my man, Avery, man. I love the guy to death, man. And I, I've only Good known thing. him for about a year, but, man, I'm telling you, man, it's, it's, it's a real, uh, every time I got, a, I, I, I'm with him, man, man, it's always a, it's a good feeling. You know what I mean? He's, he's a good brother. That's oh, that yeah, good vibe, yeah. man. It's that good vibe, that good energy he gives off me. He's always smiling. I've never, I don't think I've ever seen him pissed. You know, and, and when I do, and then when I do see him upset, you know, he quickly changes, man. He's yeah. a, he's a very happy, joyous yeah. person, man. Oh, and I love yeah. that about him, man. And yeah. if, if you're watching, man, congratulations to you and your beautiful bride, Kayla. Absolutely. You know, amen. Yeah, uh, shout out, man. Shout yeah, out. Yeah, big shout out to, uh, mm. but let me tell you what, about ha- what happened to me this morning, man. Uh-huh. Man, my, my son uh, calls me up this morning and says, dad, I got a surprise for you. Like at seven in the morning, mm-hmm. it's a little third shifter, man. And, uh, so he comes in, he gives me this box, man. He says, close your eyes, sit down, close your eyes. And then he tells me to open them. And I, and I open my eyes, man, and I, and I look at this box and I see the Jordan logo. And I'm like, man. You knew it was official. Man. Swag. I'm thinking in my head, no, you didn't, man. No, you didn't. And he's yeah, like, open yeah. it, dad, open it, dad. And my son is a little jokester, you know. So I'm thinking yeah. I'm going to open it up and find Swag. some Adidas or right, some, right. you know, some XJ900 or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Some old school joints. Some old schools, man. And, man, I open yeah. them up. Man, he got me my first ever pair of Jordans. Wow. First ever, man. And That's I, what's I, up, though. Man, yeah. I've never worn a pair of Jordans in my life. Yeah. A pair of Nikes in my life. I've always mm. been a Skecher, Adidas, you you know, XJ900, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Reebok okay. pumps, you yeah. know, and then it's not that I can't afford them on you life, but I just never yeah. been a shoe guy, you know, but right, right, right. let me tell you guys, so when you put down some Jordans, when you put them on, you lace them up, man, you you feel a type yeah. of way, bro. Swag is different. Oh, walk my God. Walk different, man. You yeah. walk different. You yeah. put them on, man, the swag just takes over your body. You walk in some type of way. You yeah. talk in some type of way. My wife yeah. tells me this morning, you think you can go get us some breakfast? I'm like, yeah, baby, let me put on my, my shoes real quick. <laughs> I, get out, <laughs> I get out of our minivan. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And I'm walking, and I'm walking. Like I got some money. People looking at my shoes. And I'm like, you hey. got money, yeah, yeah. But I'm thinking in my head, this whole thing, yeah. big money, man, big, big money, money. big money. People walking yeah. next to me or towards me, and I'm like, doing a, to try to do a fade away, you know, yeah. like, ooh, you almost got to you know, ball out in the alley, right. right. do a windmill dunk on them, <laughs> and aisle three, You're about to get it in, <laughs> yeah, spilling out across them. <laughs> yeah. Somebody just got dunked on. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but you know what? You feel some type of weight, and I, and, I, yeah. and I understand when people talk about shoes and they talk about like these people that are really deep into shoes. You know, you I know you are deep, and you too. Yeah, you man. know, and uh, and I, and I never really felt it until I put on some J's, man. Yeah. It's like they they feel great, and they, the energy that they give off. I don't know what it is, man, but yeah. it makes you feel like you got money. Yeah, yeah, like, money man, and clean, man. man. Yeah. Money and clean, no matter what you got <laughs> on up top. You look at the shoes, but you know it's crazy because you know a lot of times they should say a man's shoe can identify them. Oh yeah, absolutely. You, to be honest, though, because yeah. the first thing that people actually do when they look at you, they look at your, your shoes. shoes. Look at your shoes, yeah. and they can identify. Like yesterday, I looked at my, <laughs> I looked at my brother's <laughs> shoe, yeah. bro. I said, "My brother clean." Yeah, he came in with the money green suit. What was the olive green? Yeah, like a like an emerald green, emerald green, yeah. or something like that. Yeah, yeah. I ain't with all the colors, you know. He the image consultant. <laughs> yeah, but I said okay, I like the suit, but yeah. I looked down the. I said what? <laughs> <laughs> My brother, hey, hey mind it wasn't nothing. You know, I had some basic, you know, some church stumpers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dad, dad had some basic chunk stumper, but my boy, he. Man, TJ always coming in clean, man. Uh, man appreciate I'm telling it, man. you, man. Y'all too kind, man. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. I can never. Doesn't matter how many. Uh, I can never. I, I tried wearing shoes like that one time, man, yeah. and I, I felt. Uh, some type of way too, man. But I, yeah. I felt more like uh, elegance, like man. I feel yeah. like just grabbing some, some you know, little wine and you know, yeah, right. sitting down twirling and it around, twirling around, smoking a little cigar. <laughs> you know, yeah. See, you, you shoes make you feel a certain type of way, they, man. They definitely, definitely do. do. You yeah, know what I mean? And I, and I learned that today, man. Mm -hmm. I, I, ugh, I'm telling so you, man. You, you gonna keep it up now? I, probably not. You know, okay. I'll probably wear the shoes until you know, once I'm done here, I'll probably put them in the box, put them away for a special yeah. occasion. No, you know, definitely. Come back no with definitely. my Reeboks yeah. the next time, you know. He, he started off pretty strong with <laughs> the Started toes. strong, man. I'm yeah. telling you, I love Those are my shoes. favorite ones, yeah. Love them. Yeah. Yeah. Love them. And I'm not a Jordan guy either, but right. I mean, those are aesthetically, those are like my favorite. No, I love them. Love yeah. Big man. shout out to my man, my, my son. I love oh, you, son. Yeah. Thank you. Pilo Dot Junior. Pilo Junior. Junior, man. Got me the kicks. Thank you, son. I love you very much. You Blessings. Know, much appreciated. But, man, again, big shout out to my man, Avery. Man, uh, tied the knot yesterday. And that kind of brings me up to my uh, my next question. Man. And let's start out with this question. And, uh, and it's a very important question. Mm -hmm. And I want you guys to, to talk honestly. And I, and I want you to speak from your experience. But, yeah, you absolutely. know, it, marriage. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at it. And let me start out by, by doing some statistics, actually. Because I was looking this up mm -hmm. this morning. Okay. And as a matter of fact, per every thousand... Mm -hmm. You know, and, and we're going to start in, in the year 2000. For every thousand couples, there were 8.2. I'm sorry, for, uh, for every uh, marriages. Uh, in 2000, there were 8.2 marriages for every thousand couples. Mm -hmm. And then in 2020, mm -hmm. that was the last time they, they took this uh, statistic, it okay. was 5.1. So marriages yeah. actually went down wow. a lot. Since yeah. the year twenty, uh, since, the, since the year two thousand, yeah. And then when we look at divorces, uh, per every thousand mm. in the year two thousand, there mm. was four divorces, mm. and per and in twenty twenty there was two point three. But mm. I believe it, it, it didn't go down. What I believe is that since there were less marriages, you know, the the, the number ratio kind of yeah. you know changed a little yeah, bit. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. But marriages isn't what <clears throat> it used to be, especially when mm -hmm. you know when I was growing up and my our parents were married. Yeah. Um, but why do you think marriages are not you know as popular as they were before? Yeah. I just think it's from a, from a liability purpose. Liability? I like, yeah, I feel like people, they think about the concept of marriage, you know, they have those feelings of love, but then they, that's like the emotional part mm -hmm. of you. Yeah. You, know, you go with your heart sometimes, but then mm -hmm. you think too logically, that part kicks in, you're like, well, hypothetically, if this doesn't work out, how many L's am I going to take? Mm -hmm. um, I think people think about that mm -hmm. and society has made it so easy for people to just walk away yeah. and to get a divorce. And, you know, like, I don't know about any other states, but especially in Wisconsin, mm -hmm. Wisconsin is more of a women and children's state. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I feel like women walk into it with, they don't, obviously you get married, you don't anticipate a divorce, but if it happens, I feel like more women are like, well, I'm good, you mm -hmm. know, because you get child support, you get alimony sometimes mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. men look at it like, well, I don't want to take all these L's, so yeah. it's not even worth it. Um, so you, you, you think marriage and divorce mm -hmm. tend to kind of lean towards the favor of the woman rather than the man, and that's why? Typically, yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, there's exceptions to everything, mm -hmm. but if we're going to talk about the majority of it, mm -hmm. I mean, absolutely, especially in the state of Wisconsin, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Well, you know, I, I believe in, in that's that tends to be true. And mm. in that also the fact that I, I believe that men are the ones that are not really wanting to be married, in, in my opinion. Right. I, I think women really are the ones that push to get married, mm-hmm. and especially like, for example, when I got <clears throat> married, my wife kept hinting me, yeah, you know, yeah. in the back of my mind, I, you know, and I kept telling her, sweetheart, yeah, it's going to happen yeah. someday. It's going to happen someday. Yeah. But, you know, she kept pushing yeah. and pushing and pushing. And, and finally, I decided, you know what, I, I'm going to propose to this woman because, you know yeah. what, I'm going to be with her for the rest of my life. Right, right, right. Yeah, so, right. yeah mm-hmm. society, uh, they, they push that narrative in young girls, mm-hmm. you know, like you have to be married. If you're right. not married by this certain point in life, then you're a failure. Mm-hmm. Right. So there's that pressure. Then there's Instagram, you know, women that, as a young woman, you see other women that you've gone to school with, they're married and they got three, two, three kids. Yeah. And, mm-hmm. you know, you're still out here single doing your thing. You compare yourself and you think you compare and contrast and you're like, well, I must be not I must not be doing something right mm-hmm. because I'm not married and I don't have this life with this white picket fence and, right, the dog yeah. and mm-hmm. three kids. And, you know, I, a lot of people, the narrative should just be changed. Like marriage shouldn't be, um, it should be a goal, yeah. but it shouldn't be the goal. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It shouldn't be a great emphasis on that. Build yourself up mm-hmm. as an individual, whether you're a man or a woman, build yourself up to the best, uh, maximize yourself. And then if someone offers that to you, um, equal to or greater than you, then level up mm-hmm. and take that next step. But don't let society dictate when you should get married and what at what point should you be married and all this stuff because you're just gonna end up it's, it's just a losing battle it's yeah. a losing game that you're playing so mm-hmm. the question can actually be now be understand i'm, I'm not married i'm not mm-hmm. never been married you know um been in relationships you know been in long-term relationship mm-hmm. so the next question should be then how long should you get married or what time frame marriage should actually come mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. it in a relationship because the thing about it is, you know, some people get, you know, from what I see, they get divorced because of, you know, money or somebody cheating because some got lost yeah, in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So then what mm-hmm. happened, what happened in the beginning where now you got married, what changed other than now you change to somebody last name? Yeah. Yeah. Cause if you was together for five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years, mm-hmm. you get married, then all of a sudden now you divorce, what changed other than a last name? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's the difference now? Mm-hmm. So then it, it, it goes to the point like, you know, how long should it take for you to get married now? When should you know? Mm-hmm. That you want to be married mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because you know w- it, society always wanted to be with a man. Of course, the man should know when he want to be married. Right. I believe every man do want to get married one day. Yeah, yeah. eventually. Yeah, eventually. Mm-hmm. How long do it take when he get with that person? Because mm-hmm. a lot of times, you know, you get it where they will say you get with somebody, and then they say, "Well, y'all should get married like almost right away." Right. Yeah. Yeah. You hear that a lot. Yeah. A lot. Mm-hmm. And then next thing you know, it the moment you get married. Mm-hmm. They get divorced. Mm-hmm. Y'all should have took your time. So what right. is it? Mm-hmm. Right. People judge it because I've known people who literally met and got married within the course of less than a year, like yeah. six, six to nine months. Right. Yeah. But then I've met people who, I mean, uh, like Avery, he's been with this girlfriend um, for about 12 years, been something a like that. Yeah, yeah. Over a decade. And they're just now getting married. So mm-hmm. I think it's relative to the couple. Mm-hmm. You know, every couple has different goals. Every person mm-hmm. has different goals. But um, yeah, society, they, they perpetuate that. Like they add these time frames to your life mm-hmm. when no one's really mm-hmm. living your life. Mm-hmm. No one's in your relationship. No one knows your dynamic. So mm-hmm. I just, and, we, and we're not saying like mm-hmm. if you manage to get married under a year that that's bad. <clears throat> yeah, right. We're not right. saying that. It's we, relative you, to you. It, it's up yeah. to you and, and whoever you in a relationship with. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. I said, I was with somebody for five years mm-hmm. and the, I had the thought of being married. Mm-hmm. I actually was about to propose three times to her Yeah, mm-hmm. three, on three different occasions. And yet <clears throat> the reason why, you know, it, it stopped because some things transpired <clears throat> would allow me not to do it. And that's yeah. on me. That's right. a personal thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But on three occasions, I was about to propose to him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And we was together for five years. But then we had people in our very first year saying, well, y'all should just go on and get married. But now look at me. And, and it, again, yeah. I'm not bashing or nothing. Yeah, right. we are we separated now. Yeah, right. We're yeah. done now. So yeah. it's like if we would have got married when be, y'all wanted us to. We'll be divorced. Yeah. We'll be divorced. Mm-hmm. Right. Then next thing you know, it is like, oh, well, y'all 
you know, y'all y'all did it too fast. Y'all should have got to know each other even more. Yeah. yeah. You know, even though it still takes a lifetime, but a man knows that woman again if he want to marry her or not. Yeah. And I did at one point want to well, marry how do, her. How do you think a man knows? What 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 does a man have to know about a woman to to decide, you know what, yes, I want to her quali- qualities to me is mm-hmm. qualities. Mm-hmm. Well, qualities not saying what you bring to the table because my table is already full. Mm-hmm. If you bring something, if you bring your table, what can you add to my table? Mm-hmm. The connection is mm-hmm. a connection. So what qualities? Because if you're not helping build, and I, and I heard it, and I know I'm going to probably either quote it wrong or say it wrong, but if I'm building an empire, how can you help my empire Grow, yeah, mm-hmm. and that's what it is. If I got something, are mm-hmm. you gonna help that grow or are you gonna tear it down? Yeah, yeah. because if you with me, yeah, I'll, if I'm doing this, if I'm if I'm if I, prime example, I'm trying to build a a, a clothing company, shirt mm-hmm. business. Yeah, mm-hmm. not today, Satan. Shout out to myself. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> if I'm got this going mm-hmm. right, and I'm telling her this is what I want to do, mm-hmm. and you're not trying to help me with this. And I'm not saying you got to put money into it or whatever. Mm-hmm. You can, you may have resources where you say, hey, babe, look, if you're not trying to help me build an empire to make us successful, because not only that I'm profiting off of this, you are too. Mm-hmm. So if mm-hmm. you're not helping me build that or even me helping you, it's, it's vice versa. It's yeah, not yeah. just a one way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If it goes to the point that you're not helping, then why? So you believe that for a man that that's success is one of the uh, major factors in in the the reason why they would propose? Absolutely, uh, most definitely, yeah. because yeah. marriage is a su- success. Mm-hmm. Marriage, is, marriage a, is a success. What marriage I mean, su- success a, monetarily, success as far as business, as far as wealth, as far mm-hmm. as that. Yeah. yeah, that's the other side. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because that's the long term. Yeah, me personally, I I do equate. I mean, people say marriage is a business. Mm-hmm. Um, I mm-hmm. it's a yes and no for me. I mean, you shouldn't approach marriage as a business yeah. Um, because there's love involved. There's a sense of uh, you want to be with this person. This person fulfills your soul and mm-hmm. your spirit. But then people say business because, I mean, finances is a huge part of marriage. Mm-hmm. Finances is one of the biggest reasons why marriages fail. Mm-hmm. Right. So you have to be on the same page with how much money is such and such making. How much are we going to spend? How much are we going to save? Yeah, you, right. you have to have yeah. that type, those type of talks. That budget mentality. Um, yeah. yeah, you have to have. Uh, a certain mentality so um but me personally as a man i wouldn't want to be married broke Mm -hmm. i wouldn't want to be married and i didn't i don't have myself built up Mm -hmm. or i don't have anything to show for so when you say do you equate success to a man wanting to propose to a woman absolutely i would tell any young man make sure you're straight make sure you got everything Mm -hmm. make sure you built yourself up Mm -hmm. you got your own home you got your own car Mm -hmm. you got investments you, yeah, you got things working for you because you want to be an asset in a marriage. Yeah. You don't want to be a liability and make sure the woman that you choose is on the same wavelength mm-hmm. that she has all of that because you'll be setting yourself up for success. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I mean, that's the aspect of business, you know, as far, in terms of a, a marriage. Yeah. But yeah, anyone should be leveled up or be at a certain level of success to even consider being married. Oh, See, yeah, I, yeah. I think when you get into a relationship and you want to get married, mm-hmm. you know, I, th- I believe a woman want a man that's, um, I and I don't like the word independent mm-hmm. because we always need somebody. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're not independent. Yeah. But when a woman looks at a man, I mm-hmm. believe she want him to be on his Two feet. Yeah. Standing ten toes down. Yeah. I don't think she, she, I don't think a woman wants somebody that's, I don't want to say broken, but Mm -hmm. looking for them for a come up. Yeah. Yeah. And I believe a real man Mm -hmm. don't want that for a woman. Like you, you want to do, you want to have that because if you got both parties on both of y'all feet. Yeah. You once you bring that to one, you hire. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You you taking steps higher. You go yeah. to another whole another level. Right. Yeah. So then when it comes down to it, yeah, when I find that one that's gonna come to me, then like listen, because whatever you do, I'm mm-hmm. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to help you with that. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna have to support that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because now we become support systems to one another. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And if you, you don't want to support me, then I can't support yeah. you. Now, but let me ask you this because mm-hmm. I hear you guys talking, but I hear it more of a and I see, and I see how you guys see it as business being almost mm-hmm. like a business, you yeah. know, kind of thing. But let's look at the other side. Yeah. You know, what what does a man 
have to have it as far as quality for a woman to want it because you know women see it see it differently in my opinion of course you know us men obviously uh, we have that men mentality where you mm-hmm. know of course money means everything because that's mm-hmm. that's how mm-hmm. god designed us you know we're the providers yeah. mm-hmm. but women see it differently you know do you believe love have anything to do with that you know <laughs> love, I, be, I believe love do yeah. it has because that's where the love is being built in a relationship mm-hmm. that's a part of it yeah I'm not, and I'm not putting down love at all because you know what I'm saying. In order for me to put a ring on your finger, I better love you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, it ain't about just the money, but when you support me and everything else, now my love grows stronger for you because you're supporting the vision. Yeah, and I support you in the division. Mm-hmm. The division. Yeah. So when it comes down to it, yeah, love is being built off of that, and it's come. It, it's it, it should work simultaneously. Right. Personally, I've seen both. I've seen marriages where there was love there, great, great amount of a great immense level of love. Mm-hmm. But then I've seen other dynamics where love didn't exist, mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. it was essentially a business contract. Yeah. Um, and I feel like women look at men, like especially long term, like stability. Yeah. Like that's a, I don't know. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like. Most women, they think about stability when they think about a long term relationship oh, yeah. or a marriage. You know, they want to make sure that when they procreate and have children, that their children's good, mm-hmm. that their legacy is cemented, mm-hmm. that they have something to show for. Mm-hmm. So I, I've seen dynamics where a woman, she'll marry a man, but she's not like super deeply in love with him. Mm, yeah. He doesn't move her like that. But. He has his stuff together. He provides a great home. They're living in a big house. Mm-hmm. Their, their children have everything. He's providing to the maximum mm-hmm. um, ability that he can. And a lot of women, I feel like more women will accept that mm-hmm. because love is a feeling. Love is, it, it could flee. Mm-hmm. You know, sometimes you could fall out of love. And what's going to carry you when love isn't there? Yeah. You know, like when your partner, heart, uh, has you experience heartbreak and you're just not feeling them or you just don't like them at that time yeah and you feel like you don't love them i feel like stability holds still holds it together Mm -hmm. i mean we look at our parents generation yep our mothers you know probably even our fathers have gone through hell and back you know dealing with each other but they were resilient and they knew it was a bigger goal right these children need to have their parents there's a legacy so even though I'm not feeling this man right now or I didn't marry him for love, I got a good life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's, it just comes back to that word stability. Do you think maturity has anything to do with that one as far as uh, the, the – because the, I, I believe mm-hmm. that the man is the one that has to approach the woman to propose and, yeah. you, know, you yeah. know, make the move. But yeah. is wait, is that actually true that the man has to propose to the woman? Well, I, it's crazy these days. I don't, think, I don't think it has to be true, but yeah. I, I think uh, – yeah. It's a, it's traditional, traditional. correct? Yeah. It, I think it's a traditional. So then you see more and more women proposing to men these days, yeah. right? And that's why yeah. I said when we got to that tradition got to be broken now because a lot of times some men are scared to actually do that, like mm-hmm. really propose. Yeah, mm-hmm. we've all seen the video where like they'll be at a Bucks game or yep. they'll be out in public and the guy Ooh, proposes yeah. to the woman and then yep. she just like get up. Yeah, like yep. we need to have a talk. Yeah. Like, that's and a, and, and that's I believe million. that's why a lot of men don't do That's a part of the reason yeah. of why men kind of hold back from doing it because in a relationship, the love is there, everything is shown there, and he say, okay, now is that time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But then the moment that he managed to do that, she says, hold up. So then it's like, okay, we talked about it. Yeah. Now I'm here, and yeah. you're telling me to hold up. Now, yeah. now you you broke that man mm-hmm. um, integrity. Now yeah. that you broke that, and that that do that truly hurts men. Mm-hmm. That hurt like we was just talking about this, sweetheart. Yeah. Now yeah. that I'm doing it now, and you telling me hold up. Mm-hmm. All right, bet. Yeah. So now now I'm gonna fall all the way back. So then now that relationship there's, managed. There's to be pretty done. much no coming mm-hmm. back from there. It's yeah. no coming back. Because you tell me no. Mm-hmm. Yeah. After me getting on my I'm mm-hmm. too big to be getting on one knee and getting up. <laughs> I better get on that yeah. one knee and it better be like, okay, this yeah. is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? So when it comes down to that, you know, that does play a major part of like oh, yeah. why yeah. men like right. yeah. you know, hold back. But I feel like fear shouldn't stop you though. I mean right. I, I True. believe men should be initiators. You know, men oh, yeah. should if they see something they want, if they have a vision, they should go for it, mm-hmm. no matter what the consequence is. You know, mm-hmm. like I, I consider myself I do have traditional values, but I'm mm-hmm. also I also have contemporary values. Mm-hmm. 
and the traditional values come from how I was raised. Like yeah. my parents, like my dad, he took care of everything. He was, yeah. he was 100% yeah. man. And my mom didn't have to worry about nothing. She did whatever she wanted to do with the mm-hmm. money. Mm-hmm. And, you know, my uncles and everyone, every male that I actually came across uh, with or had demonstration from, that's mm-hmm. how they moved too. But then I also live in 2022. 20, and the world is different. Yeah. So that's where the contemporary aspect comes in because I know that 2022 looks different than 1964. Mm-hmm, right. You know what I mean? Like it's it's completely different. And life is all about transformation. And we have to be able to adapt to the times. Mm-hmm, so, mm-hmm. you know, I, there's a sense of duality with that. Yeah. But, yeah. I mean, under no circumstances should uh, – a woman be proposed to a man. I'm it, sorry. That's yeah. I, I believe the same thing. And then I know many yeah. people that are watching and listening. You know, they'll have the mm-hmm. different point of view that yeah. you know, like David just said that. Yeah. You know, we got to break that. But me, I'm I'm a, I'm a very traditional man. I'm a classic man. You know, but I just you know don't dress yeah. like now, one. But now, now yeah. don't get me wrong though. I'm yeah. not saying that I want a woman to propose to me if right. that doesn't happen. Right. I'm not saying that. I, you know, I w- actually I got a whole setup in my mind already of how I want to propose to my wife. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like that's already said and done in my head of how it's going to happen yeah. yeah i'm just waiting for that one to come so it can happen mm-hmm. yeah you know what i'm saying um but how would you feel if a woman proposed to you you know i would still accept it and i it, it wouldn't make me not do it because i would come back and do it again to her mm-hmm. i would actually she proposed to me hey will you marry me yes i will yeah and if that's what she want to do that's what she want to do but you then do you feel like that sets the tone of the marriage it could because if, to me it, it can set a, an initiative of hey I can I'm the type of guy that I don't mind my woman to drive sometime mm-hmm. if you mm-hmm. get what I'm saying yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, so. I don't mind her driving sometime mm-hmm. if I got to sit in the passenger seat I will mm-hmm. due to the fact that it may be things in the whole marriage or in the relationship that she can do that I can't mm-hmm. yeah so and that goes I'm not subject to do everything yeah now I can truly trust you on doing certain things and certain stuff mm-hmm. so if she managed to say well I'm gonna propose cool and then if she managed to take that then mm-hmm. because i know how, i know how to submit to it i'm i'm not i'm not mad at the <laughs> aspect that you said you'll come back and do it after she proposes yeah. to you yeah I will. you, you kind of feel I, like I you have to that. though but see you just said it you, you you'll come back yeah. and you will do it that that kind of lets you know that tradition yeah. plays a big part in this and yeah. it does you know so right. I, that's why i said i don't mind if she feel like that it could be both because yeah. she may feel like she want to do it yeah mm-hmm. And it, and she may feel like if I don't do it, then it's something because she may seen it from her parents yeah. or somebody on her side. Yeah. So I don't want to take that from her either yeah. because I don't know what's in her mind. You think women are more reluctant to ask a man to marry them because they know that men are more scared of, of getting married and they, they feel like they're going to be shot down or, you know. I think it's a traditional no. uh, aspect. Yeah. Like yeah. I said, the, ever since they were little girls, they, they have a narrative of how it's supposed to go. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Like, yep. You're supposed to wait. You find your Prince Charming and he's supposed to propose to you and you mm-hmm. kind of just have to wait and yeah. just whenever he decides to do it. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. So I, I think it's more of a societal issue. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, what do you think? Yeah. I, I, I think it, you know, like Lumber said, they start young. Hey, a man's supposed to do this. It's always, even in the household when mm-hmm. you get married, they say the man is the breadwinner. So mm-hmm. you sit at home, you're supposed to cook, clean, do everything while the man go out and work. Yeah. And that's typical. That's fine. You yeah. know, I even I even had it. You know, my relationship, you know, my woman was like, hey, I want to be a, the housewife. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's cool. If you got another another type of income coming in, sitting at the crib, that's fine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But we still building. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's it's taught young. Yeah. You know, it's it, yeah. and again, I don't mind a tradition. I don't yeah. mind. But how whatever. would you how would you classify yourself more traditional or more contemporary, modern? A little bit of both. A mixture. It's a mixture. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because wh- whatever and I'm gonna put it like this, whatever God sets for me in that person. That's just what it is. Yeah. I can't take. Yeah. I, he has the blueprint of my life. Mm-hmm. I can't take that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I don't. I, I can't determine my life. Because mm-hmm. then, what if he says, "No, you weren't supposed to do this." Yeah. yeah. Now, now everything is tarnished because that's what he didn't want to mm-hmm. happen. Right. So I will allow him to do it. And if, and I went, I go to him. Hey, God, look, yeah. OG Triple O, talk to me. Yeah. Yeah. She gonna come to you with this. She gonna let you know this. She gonna do this. Okay, mm-hmm. bet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let her do that. And then now you come back and you do it because mm-hmm. then you want her to feel special too. Yeah. Because it's, it's yeah. on both sides. Yeah. And a lot of traditional values don't even apply. Right. They're, they're expired. 
in the year 2022. Right. We have women that are career women that are making six figures that are on a different level. Mm -hmm. right? It's not like our gen our mother's generation where the woman was a stay at home mom and she yep. worked. Mm -hmm. It's just a different dynamic. Mm -hmm. You know, you mm -hmm. just have to be trans. You got to be able to like transform and be evolutionary when it comes with the times, yeah. you know? So yeah. I think even no matter how much traditional values were embedded in you as mm -hmm. a child or as a boy or whatever, we can't escape, uh, just contemporary values mm -hmm. and we should appreciate it. But you do know? you feel that's the reason? Cause these divorce rates are yeah. outstanding, man. They're, they're, yeah. they're huge. And I mean, yeah. compared for t t 10 years ago, I mean, the, the divorce rate skyrocketed, but do yeah. you believe the, 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 the reason for it is because people are trying to apply you know, traditional values to contemporary relationships. Yeah, a lot of it is uh, gender struggles. It's like a power struggle. Yeah. You know, people haven't established their roles on the team. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. like I look at any, like a marriage or any relationship, like we're on the same team. Yeah. We play different positions, but we're, we're trying to win the championship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you mm -hmm. have to establish, hey, I'm point guard. Hey, you're, you're the shooting guard. I'm, I'm Mike. I'm Mike. You're Scottie Pippen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, LeBron, Kyrie, how, however yeah. combination, Kobe and Shaq, however mm -hmm. combination you want to utilize. Mm -hmm. But you have to realize that at the end of the day, you guys are trying to accomplish the same goal. Yeah. Right. And society too much, they judge. They say, well, a man, he should be, he should be the one to pay all this. And yeah. a woman should stay at home and do that. Don't listen to that. Mm -hmm. Create your own. Um, mm -hmm. You have your own dynamic. Create your own um aspect of where an individual the man he may stay at home yeah mm -hmm. and the woman she might work mm -hmm. i mean i see a lot of that more and more of that these days i see that and there's not necessarily anything wrong with that either mm -hmm. because it mm -hmm. works for them and yeah. if it, and if it's functional if the woman has a higher education and the man didn't and, and he wants to stay at home then he can mm -hmm. but i mean that's not my style I mean, I like to work, you know, mm -hmm. I, I like to go out in the world and get it. I'm an initiator. I like yeah. to hunt mm -hmm. and I like to provide. But do you believe there's um, more barriers, though, if you're not married? For example, yeah. uh, when my my ex-wife and I, we mm -hmm. bought our first home. Yeah, we couldn't get the bank loan until we showed uh, that we were married. And that showed oh, yeah. that the, showed more of a, that they can trust us with the mm -hmm. bank loan. Yeah. You know? Think about the aspect of marriage. You mm -hmm. know, it's it's definitely beneficial, beneficial because you have a sense of duality mm -hmm. you have double the family double the resources mm -hmm. as opposed if you're a single person those resources are more mm -hmm. limited yeah you know there's there's definitely benefits to being married mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. even i was reading this article about a corporate job yeah that was pretty much you couldn't get promoted to like a senior manager yeah, yeah. um unless you were married yeah mm -hmm. and you know, I read some of the comments. A lot of people were just like, that's unfair. Right. If you're capable, if you've been at the job and you've proven the job, why can't you get, you know, but it, it's politics, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. or it's like a pastor being in a church and he's mm -hmm. really young and he's not married. I feel like the majority of individuals, they wouldn't really respect that. They would respect a pastor who was married right. and who had like a foundation as opposed to just you being single because it shows a different level of discipline mm -hmm. when you're married. Exactly. And it's just more more integrity when you're married. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, I mean. Mm -hmm. I, I, and I'm, you know, don't beat me up about this, but mm -hmm. marriage is kind of like insurance, like an insurance policy. Mm, interesting <laughs> point. It's like an insurance policy. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because you, when you single, you know, or you not married, let's say not married, Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's like a car Like you get insurance For your car If you yeah. don't have insurance Anything is reliable To happen and yeah. That's mm -hmm. just what it is Yeah But then you manage To get that insurance Full coverage Liability Whatever situation may be And, and we're gonna put In the marriage term You get married Now you open up to more Now you're more covered mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if you kind of look at it You know Marriage is kind of more Of like a in, To me and, and again Don't beat me up for it It's kind of yeah. more like An insurance policy You know what I mean You you kind of look at it like, okay, now I can do more because then more doors open up. Yeah. yeah. You know, you manage to get, you know, with an insurance policy on the car, you manage to get married, especially if your partner has good driving record. Mm -hmm. That dollar amount yeah. going to go down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's benefit to you because yeah. mm -hmm. now you can put that dollar over here. Yeah. If you look at the U.S. military, they get more benefits being. Oh, married. exactly. Yeah. So it, it's yeah. just yeah. it's a package deal. Yeah. You know? So, so do you guys believe that there's it's a possibility? Because I, I believe marriage is always the end game when it comes to a yeah. relationship. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? It, it, it's it's almost like it's terrible. You know, you've been yeah. married for a long time. You have to get married. Yeah. But have you ever met a couple that's been together for many years? You know, to their oh 
old and not married? I mean, is that even possible? Have you guys ever seen that? Yeah, uh-huh. I've seen it a really? lot. A lot more uh-huh. and more, yeah. Yeah. They're like common law at this point. Yeah. But you know, the, yeah. the thing about it with that, why they don't get married, because I even, you know, and again, shout out to Avery and his wife mm-hmm. once again for their marriage, you know, and oh, having yeah. the conversation with them. Yeah. He stated it. He said, what's the point of us actually getting a piece of paper to identify us being married? Mm-hmm. And, you know, on the other side, he said, we, we've we been together over 10 years. And and this, I believe, is by law or something like that, that over 10 years you identify as married, mm-hmm. <clears throat> you know, with just without the paper. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. So he said, we don't need a piece of paper to say that we're married. We, I'm not going nowhere. She's not going nowhere. Mm-hmm. But then, you know, on the other side of that, they, you know, people can look at it as, yeah, that piece of paper, it, it could bring more to the situation as of like if it was a divorce yeah you, know, right. you gotta try to split stuff and all of that extra mm-hmm. yeah. so you know by them saying well let's get married it opens them up yeah to more yeah. stuff now mm-hmm. because yeah. they able to do more things in a personal life as bringing stuff together now you know you know credit score all of that mm-hmm. it, it helps them out yeah so okay yeah now let's get this piece of paper yeah. done mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I just, I don't like when people say uh, it's just a piece of paper. Right. That, that piece of paper does matter. Oh, yeah. yeah. It does. Say, say you're, you've been with someone for 15, 20 years or whatever, mm-hmm. and uh, they, for some, for some reason they die or something happens. Like, if you're not married to that individual, you're not going to get any of their benefits. You're mm-hmm. not going to have access to their will or anything. Yeah, insurance like policy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like you're literally like you can't even keep the home because if you're, if you were married and you have that piece of paper, Mm -hmm. then Mm -hmm. automatically the house is going to go to you automatically. You're going to have things in place. But if you, if you don't have that piece of paper, then Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't have any rights and you've been in a situation for 10, 20 years, Mm -hmm. 10, 15, however long you want to say. And you want to have something to show for Mm -hmm. if that, if something happens to that individual, you want to have something to show for because you put the years in it, you invested in it. Mm -hmm. But if, Without the sheet of paper, it's just, it's a wash. Yeah, but so the sheet of paper really also important. means a lot more, not only for the government, in my opinion, you yeah. know, especially in our yeah. culture, you know, in the African-American culture, where yeah. we come from a background of, you know, Christian family, Christian mm-hmm. home, and they value uh, the the Bible, and they, they, re, they believe that marriage is the right thing to do in the eyes of God and things like that. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. you know, in, in, and I believe that that adds another uh, stress factor you yeah, know yeah. to a, a couple yeah you know because especially a couple that know they're not ready to get married and you know financially they're not ready and things like that but then you know you have the the background of the other you know, family yeah you know kind of pushing them to get married you know yeah. you're gonna go to hell if you don't get married mm, and you know this well, and that i, you know? I say this if y'all gonna push me to want to get married guess what give me the money to get married <laughs> i'll send you not my cash i'll send you my cash app i'll send you my venmo <laughs> send me the money to get married don't He's got be so, and as a matter of fact i'll post i'll post his venmo <laughs> And all bless that in the me. bottom of this bless video. Me, please bless me, y'all. Bless me. <laughs> Is it not? But that's the thing about it, you know. You and like you said, you know, the family pushing, and then yeah. you know, that's the whole thing about it, man. People don't understand people's circumstances. It's easy to come out of somebody's mouth and say, get married. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's easy to say. Mm-hmm. But then you can't determine what these people or what this couple is going through. Mm-hmm. You can't yeah. determine that. Yeah. You can't just tell me oh, y'all should get married. Yeah, we should. Yeah. yeah. That's the ultimate goal. Thank yeah. you for giving us your opinion. Yeah. But then at the same time, are you going to assist? I don't need nobody to, you know, hey, I can tell this person what to do and that person. I don't need your words mm-hmm. because everything costs now. Yeah. Yeah. And if that's what you want us to do, you want us to get married, then won't you sponsor our wedding? And we definitely will get married. Mm-hmm. Uh, y'all can go to the courthouse. It's cheap. No, nah, because when I do it once, I want to do it nice. Oh, yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Do it right the first time. You do it right the first time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So don't just say, oh, y'all should get married mm-hmm. and then leave it as that sponsor us and then we definitely would do it absolutely now, let's yeah. stay in that subject with marriage but mm-hmm. now let's switch it up a little bit mm-hmm. so us as men what are yeah. our roles in the household do you believe in the whole 50 50 concept that man puts 50 percent, the woman puts 50 percent into mm-hmm. the marriage to make 100 percent, you know in the household do you guys believe that concept mm-hmm. no yeah i don't Why not? i don't believe 50 50 mm-hmm. and the reason i don't believe 50 50 because sometimes a man will come up short mm-hmm and sometimes the woman will come up short. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But then that's where it, it that's why the marriage is there and you build that. Because mm-hmm. if I come up short, you should know where I'm coming up short where you could take on that. Because there's gonna be some days you're gonna come up short mm-hmm. and you're going to expect me 
to take up that rest of, of that percentage mm-hmm. to make a hundred. I don't even think it's just full one hundred. It ain't even fifty fifty because sometimes you may do a hundred and she do negative. It's highs and low mm-hmm. because if you actually go in, in in marriage and when you stand at that altar and you say to death do us part or in sickness and health, mm-hmm. yeah, that sickness is almost a negative. Mm-hmm. So now you got to take on because you have you may have kids, mm-hmm. you got all the bills, you got work, you got all that that you got to take on. So while she at her negative, are you still gonna be able to? push that mm-hmm. to make sure that this this marriage still going yeah. and sickness and, and it's vice versa. Yeah. 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 So I don't believe in 50-50. It's just whatever you bring at that moment, mm-hmm. at that time, that's what mm-hmm. would have to happen. Yeah. Because it's never I, I'm never gonna bring you an amount. Because yeah. then you're gonna be subject to only give me that 50. Absolutely. Yeah. I don't want to be subject to just that 50. Mm-hmm. Sometimes give me a little more because when I'm down, when I don't feel like it or when I'm not saying I don't feel like it or mm-hmm. when I can't, mm-hmm. are you able to push it? That's what I'm looking for. Yeah. As a single man looking for a woman, are you going to be able to hold me up when I am when I fall? Yeah. When one of my toes curl up and I can't stand on his foot, are you going to be there to hold me up? Mm-hmm. That's how I feel about it. it ain't, I don't believe in the 50. So you, do you believe more about 100 or 100? Do you believe? I don't believe both? in a number, period. Okay. I don't I believe would, in a number. I would agree with that. I was going to say I don't I don't I don't agree with 50-50 mm-hmm. or just one person being 100. Yeah. I believe in 100 100. Yeah. Um 100 or the two individuals have to put 100% exactly. of everything. Yeah. Effort, time, money, emotions, everything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like I said earlier, we're a team. Mm-hmm. We're trying we're trying to achieve the same goal and yeah. accomplish the same goal. Yeah. So to expect one person to do everything, that's mm-hmm. That's ridiculous yeah. in the year 2020 because there's so many stressors. Mm-hmm. There's so many um, amounts of pressure from an individual working all day. Yeah. And then they got to take care of the kids and then they got to do this, that, and the third. It's just versus a marriage. If you think about the concept of relationships, mm-hmm. it's a partnership. Mm-hmm. Partners, partners are equal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No one's greater. No one's higher. Mm-hmm. We just play different positions. Mm-hmm. But as far as an entire dynamic of a relationship or mm-hmm. a marriage, both people should be putting in a hundred percent at all times. I think that goes uh, that goes correct for both generations, from my generation and the new generation. Yeah. Because I'm in in my generation, my wife, you know, she's a homemaker. She's a great homemaker, mm-hmm. great parents, and you know, I'm the breadwinner. Yeah, and uh, you know, I got to give a hundred percent. She has to give a hundred percent. You yeah. know, and, and I understand uh, your point of view about yeah. numbers and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I just believe that both parties should actually give all same amount know, of right. effort. Give yeah. it right. all, and that's the thing. That's why I say I don't believe in a number because. Yeah. I don't I don't want us to be subject, like I said once again, to stick inside that number. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because you can be one oh one, you can be one oh two, or you can be ninety nine. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So that's why I don't put a number in. If we bring in the same energy, because we're trying to win, we're trying to get a ring. If we trying to get a ring, even when you got the ring, we still trying to win. Yeah. If you if you both are pushing in and putting in for that, yeah, and trying to win to succeed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do that because and then it's going to go into a whole nother thing. I don't mind a woman making more money than me. Mm. That really, you don't that, mind if your I woman makes more that. money than you? No, really, I don't mind that. Yeah, because guess what? It's still coming to the house. Yeah, we are still winning. Yeah. If I if I met CEOs out there, single CEOs, hit mm. me up. Listen, no. <laughs> <laughs> if yeah. if it's if it's a CEO out there, it would a. Uh, major dollar amount mm-hmm. figure of what she makes a year. Mm-hmm. I'm cool with that. Yeah. And whatever you expect out of me, I most definitely would do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I don't want you to hang that over my head. Right. That's where it comes in. At. That's what. That's where it becomes an issue. That's where it becomes an issue yeah. because it managed to get hung over the head mm-hmm. instead of saying, look, I'm in it, you in it, let's get it together. Mm-hmm. And then now I can work my way up to where you at. Possibly. Yeah. Oh, and if yeah. I just can't, guess what? We still in it together. Mm-hmm. I'm going to support you. Baby, if you got to take this meeting at, you know, dinner time, go do your thing. Mm-hmm. I got you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Due to the fact that you trying to make us win. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you got to be that star. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because you just have to be a secure guy. You know, right. obviously mm-hmm. a woman that makes more than me, which I've dated women that made more than me. Mm-hmm. Um, and 
you just have to realize she chose you for a reason. Mm -hmm. right? I just feel like an insecure man will, oh, I can never date a woman who makes more than me. Mm -hmm. why, well, why not? Right. It's a benefit for you. You got a boss chick. Mm -hmm. If mm -hmm. anything, that's an ultimate flex. Like, yeah. If anything, and that woman doesn't look at you any less because mm -hmm. right? she chose you. Like, like you said, the problem comes in where you get into a conflict and then that's drawn in the man's face. Right. That's not cool. Like, yeah. Women that do make more money than men, they have to realize that that can never be a weapon mm -hmm. used in a conflict mm -hmm. Yeah, because you chose that man at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Obviously you see his potential. Um, I always use the equation equal to or greater than. So mm -hmm. it's like, if I'm with a woman who's greater than me, not, not equal, but greater financially, mm -hmm. there's something that she exhibits or demonstrates mm -hmm. that I can learn from her. Mm -hmm. And I can level up and become greater and possibly get on her level or, you know, um, precede her. You know Absolutely. what I mean? So it's just mm -hmm. it's all about just security, man, at the end of the day, because there's a benefit to all of it. It's mm -hmm. all coming back to the household. It's coming back to the house. Anyway, so you got to take your ego out of it. And you really have to understand that there's a bigger purpose and there's a legacy, because even after you win the ring. There's another season. Yeah. There's another season after that. It's about legacy. It's about longevity. It's mm -hmm. about a happiness and a quality of life that when you die, you're like, man, I lived a good life. Mm -hmm. I lived a peaceful life. It wasn't perfect, but hey, I, I did the damn thing. Yeah, you right. Know? I don't know how I can do that. I don't know how I can live. In, and, I hear, and I hear you guys, but yeah. I, don't, I couldn't do that, man. That'll bother you? It'll bother me to the to the end, man. If I knew yeah. my wife was making more than me. Where do you think that comes from? That, that comes, I think, from you know, my father and it comes from his grandfather, you know, it, okay. it comes so, from. So while know? we can't break that generational curse, cause that's a, to me, that's a generational. It's because I, I've seen in, with this new generation, I, I've seen how women act and I'm, and maybe I, I'm just looking at it in the tunnel vision, mm -hmm. but I, I, I've seen how women act yeah. when they make more than men. Yeah. And that bothers me how yeah. they act. You, you, I'm sure you guys have seen it too. Yeah. Most definitely. You Let's know? throw out a scenario, say like, um, no disrespect to your lovely wife. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But say you're a single man right now and you're out courting different women and dating different women. Um, and you found out the conversation that was put on the table that she made more than you. Mm -hmm. That'll be a deal breaker, even though from a physical standpoint, she's everything. Mm -hmm emotionally mentally mm -hmm. she checks all the boxes and the vibe is there most yeah. importantly you would write her off because she made more money than you. i think i'd be very conflicted because i think that if if i'm like you said i'm courting a woman and i'm yeah. talking and i find out that she makes more than me but yeah. she's interested in me yeah uh, i think that i'd be very scared and i think that i just that that'll tell me that i have to yeah, yeah. Be so, that, that yeah. Have to level up so yeah. while so at that point in time, while we can't right at that moment say, listen, I get it, you make more than me, but if we're going to continue this, don't hang that over my head. Mm -hmm. I think she, she'll hang it over your head as soon as you find out that she makes more than you. But if she makes it known that she makes more than you, mm -hmm. when she's courting you, she's uh -huh. going to hang it over your head. Well, you think it, so? I think so. And mm -hmm. I, I, yeah. Because if, if that's the first thing, then that's not the first thing she talks about. Yeah. But if you guys are just meeting and you, you know, she starts talking about, you know, she makes this, she makes that, she makes this. That, you know, that's just a, a sign of things to come to me. Like it, red, it produces red flags. Yeah, for you. it's a red so, flag. Yeah. So I actually, you know, I dated somebody that um, actually she, she had, she's a, she's an owner of her own daycare mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and she manages three daycares. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that was something that was stated, you know, with, with her. Yeah. Like she came out the gate and said, Hey, this is what I do, whatever. Mm hmm. And my whole thing, I didn't mind that. Yeah. that. That's what happened. You know, the failure in that of it was like timing yeah. of our mm -hmm. time, you know, conflicted. So that's what our dating failed because of the timing. Yeah. You know, her time and then by the time she get off of work, I'm going into work. And it, it was always an offset. Yeah, right. So that's mm -hmm. why we didn't, it didn't work. Mm -hmm. But she never came to me. Cause even when she said that, I was like, man, you put it on the table. Let me know. Mm -hmm. Because then if I don't meet to the level of your expectation, <clears throat> mm -hmm. then we don't want to continue this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So it goes to the point, like she said, no, that that's fine. And don't get me wrong. When we work and we make decent mm -hmm. money. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's surprisingly, you got black, black men or whatever situation. And I'm not identifying it as black men, but men period that make yeah. decent money. Yeah. yeah. You know, she, she was cool with that. She was mm -hmm. like, okay. And I'm like, well, you, you a CEO, you, Got a, your own business and, mm -hmm. you know, you managing three other buildings. So you do make decent money. Mm -hmm. That I don't care. Yeah. You know, and, yeah. and that's all it is. If you put it out in a, on a table in the beginning mm -hmm. and after that, both of y'all are okay with it, then 
after that, it shouldn't be nothing else. Now, if yeah. you hang it over my head later on, then yeah, we're gonna have a conversation. Oh yeah, deep yeah. conversation. We're gonna have a big one. Because <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm not gonna get to marriage and then uh, well, I make yeah. more money than you. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. You think for in order for a man to accept, and and I ask this questions because that's how I feel. Yeah, yeah. But do you do you believe that for a man to accept that their woman is making more money than me, they have to have a certain level of submission to that woman? You know, the submissive play <clears throat> submission play a big part in that. Not at all. You should conduct yourself as if you as if you make more or mm-hmm. not necessarily that, but just conduct yourself no different way than you already would be. Mm-hmm. I agree. Um, she yeah. can make more money than me. It doesn't matter to me. Yeah, that doesn't that isn't a huge factor. I don't have to water myself down because she makes more money. You just have to take your ego out of it, mm-hmm. right? you know, and just look at it like, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm dating this woman because I see something in her. I see a vision in her Mm -hmm. and she's dating me for the same reasons. So I'm still going to be masculine. I'm still going to be me. Mm -hmm. I'm still going to walk around with my head held high, Mm -hmm. shoulders back. Mm -hmm. I know Mm -hmm. I'm that dude still Mm -hmm. because at the end of the day, you make more than me, but you chose me. So what does that say about me? Yeah. What does that say about the situation? So I'm not going to walk around my head down or tiptoeing around Mm -hmm. um, because she makes more than me because I mean, first of all, the woman that I select, she's going to she's super humble. Mm -hmm. She has humility, even if she does make more. Yeah. So the likelihood of it being thrown back in my face is slim to none. But I mean, things happen. People get into conflicts and arguments Mm -hmm. and stuff gets said where you want to hurt. But that's the heat of the moment, though. That's just the heat of the moment. And and even if it was a situation that where hypothetically she did, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, it only takes one time to disrespect me like that, and yeah, I'm gonna re- I'm gonna reevaluate. That's all it right? takes because right. you knew what you signed up for. Mm-hmm. You knew that you made more. You knew that I'm ambitious and I want to get on that level. Mm-hmm. And you've seen the vision, but for you to tear me down on the journey yeah. of getting there, that's unacceptable. The yeah. thing about it is, with that, especially in relationships, you know, and I had to just kind of write this down. You giving mm-hmm. up the eyes for the us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. The us is if you're making more money mm-hmm. than me, you giving up the I make more money yeah. to the us making more money. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's a good point. Saying? That's a very good point. Mm-hmm. So you giving up me. If I'm coming to you because I make a hundred grand a year and I know you only make 30 grand a year, mm-hmm. I'm I'm giving up the I make a hundred grand to the us. <laughs> Yeah. And that's the thing about it. So don't later on say, well, I make more money than you Mm -hmm. because you gave up the I years ago or Mm -hmm. months ago. You gave that up for the us. So we we both make that 30 plus my hundred. So Mm -hmm. don't don't do that later on and say, oh, well, I make more money than you. Well, Mm -hmm. you gave that up a long time ago when you told me. yes. Absolutely. That's a very good point. And if you guys have any want to chime in. Please write on the comments. Write down on the comments if you disagree, if you agree, if you're a female making more money than your man and you think that you should leave him because he, you make more money, mm-hmm. write down on the comments. Or if you're a man that believes that, you know, like these gentlemen say that, you know, it doesn't matter, write down the comments, but write it on the comments and we'll talk about that on the next podcast. Absolutely. So, but it, that's, a, that's a very interesting point that you made there because mm-hmm. I never looked at it that way because you always yeah. look at, you know, mm-hmm. when, the, when the man makes more money than the woman is expected. Yeah. You know, when a woman makes more money than a man, that's a little bit of a, of a yeah, um, an issue di- to some men. It's a know, dynamic like, situation. It's a very dynamic mm-hmm. situation, yeah, you yeah. know. And and I just feel like sometimes it, they just it's, it's um, they use it as a power trip. They use it as a as a, an advantage yeah. towards you yeah. for something, especially and, when they're tired yeah. of you, you know. And that's a yeah. kill, that's a killer of marriages too. Yeah. Is power yeah. struggles. You yeah. know, you yeah. know, you just have to identify what you're going to be to that person and vice versa. Mm-hmm. And you guys have to stay committed to that role. Mm-hmm. Well, since we're in the, uh, the subject of marriage, mm-hmm. let's talk about the submission yeah. of, a, of a man. What level of submission? And my question to you guys, what yeah. level of submission does a man have to be at in order to make a marriage work? You know, to make a marriage happen, what, what mm-hmm. level of submission does it have to be? Cause I, I believe a man mm-hmm. does have to be at a certain level of submissive. Well, society has made us believe that submission, especially for women, like, mm-hmm women have to be that they can't have a voice mm-hmm, that mm-hmm. they have to do everything the man says. Yeah. And that, I mean, this isn't slavery. This is a relationship. Mm-hmm. So submission goes both ways. Um, I, I feel like a lot of women, they hate that word because it's misconstrued mm-hmm. and you know, it's poorly demonstrated by society too. It's not yeah. like a man dictating your life and you just don't have a voice and you're a robot and you just don't have any perspective. Mm-hmm. Submission is both ways. Yeah. Like, there's nothing that I wouldn't, I would, I would, would not do 
that she wouldn't do for me. You know, it's a it's an equal playing field. And at different times, it's interchangeable. Mm -hmm. Like I can be this for you. You can be that for me. Yeah. Submission is just it's a choice. It's respecting a person. It's respecting an individual. Mm -hmm. Like I respect and love you enough to where I'm going to value your perspective and I'm mm -hmm. going to value everything that you're bringing to the table and we're going to come together as one. Mm. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's just a bad narrative in terms of the art of submission because it's, it's such a negative uh, association with mm -hmm. that word yeah. these days. Yeah. And a lot of women don't realize that submission, you should be, a man should be submitting to you as well. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not always you submitting to a man, right. you know, you just have to have that respect level and that understanding, mm -hmm. you know? So, so the different. thing about it is let's, let's take the meaning of submissive mm -hmm. and that's where we got to get the understanding of what that means. So of course me sitting here looking it up, it says ready to conform mm -hmm. to authority or will of others, meekly obedient or passive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we got to learn that word first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People don't know what that means. When you say mm -hmm. being submissive. Yeah. That means, oh, I got to automatically listen to you. You got to bow down. You got to mm -hmm. bow down. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and if we go biblical, you know, as men submit to God, mm -hmm. women submit to the man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In a marriage. If we're yeah. going biblical. Yeah. And, and the reason is because man. Now, look what I said. Mm -hmm. Men submit to God. Mm -hmm. So we got to still submit to somebody. Mm -hmm. yeah. So just like my, my brother said, you got to submit to one another, yeah. to each other. It's still the same thing. Mm -hmm. Not just we only submit to God. We got to submit to our wife because it goes back to sometimes she got to do stuff that I can't do. Yeah. yeah. So you submitting to that, whatever that area is. Yeah. And it's vice versa. Yeah. So we got to understand what the word submissive is. It's so hard. And that, and as we always mm -hmm. talk about this generation and, you know, what's going on now and what people think about is the thing about it. They think, again, submissive is like, OK, you better do this. Mm -hmm. right. You better submit to me because yeah. they use that term so wrong. Yeah. It's like it's it's like a demeaning term. It's the demeaning. That. Yeah. And, and, and that's. Not. And it's not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'll, I'll just like I said. I would love if woman make more than me. Mm -hmm. Again, I'm submitting to her making more money than me. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's yeah. the thing about it. Okay, she makes more than me. Okay, cool. So then I I know that in our relationship, in our marriage, when it comes to that, she can probably take care of some stuff that I definitely can't take yeah. care of. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. So I got to be more man enough. Yeah. More, and I don't want to say let's say not more man enough. I I could be mm -hmm. more a daughter enough and more. Yeah, you know, mature enough. Yeah, there we go. That's a, that's the word. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to be more mature enough that I know she can handle. Like, hey, I'm bagging up, sweetheart. You do you, boo. Mm -hmm. yeah. If this is what you gotta do to get this done, so we can win and get that ring, multiple rings. Um, we just the first ring, the first championship, of course, is always the marriage ring. Yeah, always. But but everything else, when you get the house, that's a ring. Mm -hmm. When you get that Benz out there, or you know that hundred thousand dollar car, that's another ring. The kids are rings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, raising, raising kids successfully. Raising kids yeah. successfully yeah, are rings. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's just not one ring you're getting. You're trying to get multiple rings. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you got to submit. The thing about it, even and if we want to go to the sports term, you know, LeBron had to submit to the Lakers. Mm. No matter how much he said, this is what I want in my contract. He still got to submit to somebody. Yeah. Right. He got to listen to the coach, mm. even if he's the GOAT. Jordan had to do that, too. And Jordan got multiple rings. Mm. That's how he got multiple rings. Yeah. He knew he was the man. He knew what he had to do. He knew what he had to contribute to the team. But then he had everyone else surrounding him to he had to submit to. Because if he wasn't submitting to them, mm -hmm. he wouldn't pass the ball at all. Yeah, right. Right. They run a system. It's a yeah. system. Yeah. So we gotta understand the term of submission, submit. Mm -hmm. We gotta know the term of that before we can use it in any, you know, dynamic, you know, form to even say anything to somebody. Mm -hmm. Baby, I really I don't want you to say submit to me. Yeah. yeah. I, you, we gonna do this together. We submit to one another. That's it. That's the That's right. bottom line. Is you think right. of a, mar a marriage is one. Exactly. So it's like each peop each individuals have to submit because at the end of the, would you go against yourself? No, most you, definitely, you not. submit right. to yourself. Mm -hmm. Right. She should submit to herself. Yeah, exactly. And you're one. So that's how I look at it. It's submission. I just really want that word to just be put more in a positive light mm -hmm. because you're giving up the eye for the us. Yeah. yeah. I mentioned yeah. submission. Um, and then most people, they roll their eyes or they're like, oh, yeah, right. But when I think of submission, I think of one word 
in that one mm-hmm. word, or I think of a few words, but the main word is love. Yeah, there we go. Love, respect, mm-hmm. honor. That's what submission is. And that's crazy. Mm-hmm. I used to I used mm-hmm. to actually ask women that mm-hmm. are you willing to submit? Yeah. And they get mad. Like, That'll tell you a lot, though. That will tell you a lot. When you ask that, if, if you see eye rolls or you get any level of mm-hmm. resistance, you already know that maybe because, that's not the woman for you. Right, because then that means she truly don't know what it means. Mm-hmm. Like, will you, are you willing to submit? Because not only that you submit to me, to be honest with you, I want you to, to submit to God first. Yeah. Because I want you to submit to him and say, is this man submissive mm-hmm. to you? So he can do this for me. Right. Yeah, right. She trusts you to do the same. She trusts me yeah. to do the same. So yeah, that's the first question. Are mm-hmm. you willing to submit? Yeah. And I don't even put me or anything. Are you willing to submit? Right. Mm-hmm. You don't attach mm-hmm. it to anything. You because yeah. if you attach it now, once yeah. again, mm-hmm. you subject in a box yeah. to be submissive to that. Yeah. yeah. And I don't want you to be subject to that because yeah. we're submissive as men working. Mm-hmm. Guess what? We're submissive to work. Right, because we got to yeah. punch in at a certain yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. We got supervisors we got to answer to. We got mm-hmm. supervisors we got to yeah. answer to, just yeah. as well as they got supervisors. So yeah. it's okay for men to submit. Yeah. It's okay for women to submit. Mm-hmm. I think you made a very good yeah. point, and I think mm-hmm. that I, 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 what I take away is mm-hmm. the meaning of the word submission. Mm-hmm. That's very important, especially yeah. now where you have all these movements going around, yeah. especially with the women's movement. And they, they, uh, these movements kind of taint that word submission, mm-hmm. you know, because they, mm-hmm. they look at it as, like I said, submission, like a uh, master slave kind of situation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, you know, when actually it, it's not at all, yeah. you know, and we, when you're talking in a marriage, you know, both parties have to be submissive yeah. to each other have to and, and, and in my personal belief mm-hmm. and this is i'm speaking for myself mm-hmm. the man has to be first of all submissive to god right. in order to make that submission kind Absolutely. of come together make that circle right you know mm-hmm. what i mean yeah, and right. uh so that that's very important so yeah. just like i said earlier god give us the blueprint right mm-hmm. he's the he he's the blueprint he mm-hmm. creates the blueprint of our life yes and if we're not submit submitting to that blueprint how can anything else work in our life mm-hmm. yeah how yeah. can anything else? How can doors open up? Mm-hmm. How can we build? How can we attach things to this? Yeah. Because he already said it for us. So he wants you to submit to his blueprint. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, sweetheart, when you come in with me and mm-hmm. you dating me or you, you know, whatever, sweetheart, are you going to submit to this blueprint that God said? Because right. I can't mm-hmm. do nothing about that. Right. Yeah. And if you can't, then, you know, you got two feet and there's a front door and a back door. Well, yeah. my daddy used to say we can yeah. make it, make a side door. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We, I like that. <laughs> we were talking about like men who or women who uh, don't know the concept or the definition of submission. But mm-hmm. There's a lot of men who don't either. And exactly. It's a lot of men who expect it automatically right. when you haven't done anything or mm-hmm. proven yourself have to you that woman. Have earn it. You yeah. haven't even proven yourself to God. Right. And you expect all this submission. That's, that's right. very exactly. arrogant and very, it, it goes both ways. Mm-hmm. You know, you have to have something to show for and you right. have to conduct yourself a certain way and bring a certain level of whatever to the table that's yep. needed. Yep. So, exactly. you know what, let yeah. me, let me, uh, and we're going to get to another subject that I want to talk about. But mm-hmm. before we do that, uh, let's read some of these comments real quick from our, uh, one for a couple uh, okay. previous podcasts, mm-hmm. uh, for example, and we don't have to get real deep into these questions because yeah. I, you know this next subject is probably going to take up a lot of time. Okay, but I am uh, Travis. She wrote, "If you are not right for yourself, you are not uh, you are not going to be right for somebody else." Mm-hmm. So, do you guys want to comment on that? If you're not right for yourself, did I did I say that? I, I think I said that on. Uh the first episode we did together. I think so I think Probably. Yeah. yeah that 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 comment actually comes from the first episode first episode oh, yeah, I, think yeah. I don't know how we missed it but yeah, yeah. if you're not right for yourself you're not right yeah, for somebody I mean, else you, I mean it's self-explanatory mm-hmm. you know if mm-hmm. you can't be happy with anybody if you're not happy with yourself right. if, if you can't look yourself in the mirror and accept yourself mm-hmm. for your flaws and yeah. everything else then you can't willingly accept someone else's flaws mm-hmm. and everything that they have their trauma their baggage you have to clean your house first Mm -hmm. before you invite somebody in. Absolutely. You know, absolutely. Uh, Another subject is uh, uh, Desiree Olison. She writes, I'm going to piggyback and say a woman wasn't meant to raise a man. This is when we started talking about can a woman raise yeah. a man, that, that okay. topic. Yeah. And she writes, I'm going to piggyback on uh, and say mm-hmm. that a woman uh, wasn't meant to raise men or women by themselves, by herself, yeah. neither a father. Men have a way to teach women how to be a woman by how he treats her. And a man obviously teaches a man how to be a man. So the father is very important. 
I agree so, 100%. I agree. And Great we comment. we do appreciate you saying that because now um now we got a woman speaking on that now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know that she agrees. At the end of the day, you know, we stay like, can it happen and have it happen? Mm-hmm. We know, yes, it has. Yeah. yeah. You know, on both sides of the bar. But then, as she stated, that, you know, it is a teachable moment for that mm-hmm. kid. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You know, I, I, a woman can't say, well, this is how you treat a man. Yeah. You know, to her daughter if she don't have one. Right. It's bias. It's bias. bias. Mm-hmm. That's, it's bias. That's the the ideal that that mom has, Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? It's not necessarily what that little girl needs. Mm -hmm. Right. It's not the correct tool. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't think you can literally sit up here and um, use a spatula to fix, to tune up a car. Yeah. Right. If you use a spatula to tune up a car, Holler at me so yeah. we can try to get something done. That's a good point. It's yeah. a good yeah. point. And now Desiree Olison, uh, she writes from mm-hmm. from our last podcast. Mm-hmm. Uh, she write when we talk when we started talking about compatibility versus uh, yeah. soul ties. Yeah, she writes compatibility. Compatibility implies multiple but limited. Soulmates mm-hmm. is just another way of saying compatibility, and there are many people compatible. Yeah, I agree. Mm-hmm. Because there, there's plenty of people that you can vibe with and you're compatible with. Your lifestyle works for each other. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, commitment is a choice. Mm-hmm. You have to, you're going to go through stuff with anybody. Mm-hmm. Everybody has trauma. Everybody has uh, issues. Mm-hmm. But you have to pick a person worth it yeah. enough to just choose them and go through that with. Because no matter who you're with, mm-hmm. I mean... You got to clean up, you yeah. know, you got to grow, you got to elevate. Absolutely. So I definitely agree with that. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Definitely. All right. So uh, we're going to move on to the next subject. Uh, I don't know how to say it. Lil Deborah 91. Mm-hmm. Uh, she wrote actually on the topics that we're going to talk about right now. And she okay. writes, I think another topic should be about love languages mm-hmm. and about detaching from wrong friendships. Okay. Well, well the, the wrong friendships we might get into. Maybe we'll leave that to the next podcast, but I yeah. do want to talk about the love languages. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then, uh, so some of the, uh, and I'm going to name them and then we'll, we'll, we'll talk about them. Yeah, yeah. So the first one being quality time. Mm-hmm. Second one, physical touch. Second, uh, third one, acts of service. Okay. Fourth, gifts. And then mm-hmm. the fifth one, words of affirmation. Okay. So how does this tie in? Let's say, let's talk about quality time. Quality time. Quality time. Mm-hmm. To, for me, quality time is number one. Mm-hmm. It takes, it's king over everything Absolutely. Else. Number one. Because, um, I mean, if I were to rank them, it will be quality time, physical touch, uh, mm-hmm. words of affirmation, acts of service, and gifts will be last for yeah, me. Yeah. Um, but physical touch um, is huge for me. I would want to rank that number one, but you can't get to physical touch without having quality mm-hmm, time. Mm-hmm. So that goes first. Um, yeah, you just have to spend time with your partner, man. Like all the love languages are very essential for longevity yeah. of a relationship because there's maintenance. And I mean, your partner's going to have different love languages than you. You just have to go out of your way to study them yeah, and exactly. master them so that you're, you're made, you don't want your significant other feeling unhappy mm-hmm. or feeling like you don't love them. Yep. Like if my significant other, um, if her thing is as acts of service, she just loves coming home to a clean house. Mm-hmm. No dishes in the sink, house smelling good, everything's in order. That makes her feel loved. You know, if we're having a blizzard in Wisconsin in the middle of the winter time, and you know, she has to go to work, I go outside, I shovel all the snow around her car, yeah. I, you know, clean up her car and warm it up and make her coffee and stuff and make sure that she has a smooth transition during mm-hmm. that day. Mm-hmm. That's a that's a sign of access Absolutely. service. And you just have to do stuff like that. Absolutely. Even if it isn't really at the top of your priority, it's at the top of her priority. Mm-hmm. So you just have to make that uh, work for her. Yeah. You have to do it at a high level to keep her happy. Yeah. How about you, G? What do you think? So my number one is physical touch. Because, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. you know, is 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 a one-two punch, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. Um, physical touch and quality time. Yeah. And then everything else falls in line. So when we say what's your love language, you know, I actually changed my dynamic, say my main two is physical touch and quality time, but mm-hmm. I got them all. Mm-hmm. And the reason, because all of them play into one another. Yeah. And and that's mm-hmm. what we got to understand. All mm-hmm. of them play into one another. Yeah. And no matter which one comes first, mm-hmm. all of them still do it. Because like my brother said, mm-hmm. the, 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 the chores and the cleaning off the car, that's the act of service. Mm-hmm. You know, and you putting quality time into doing that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Even if it's with her or if it's just by yourself doing something for her, yeah. 
that's still quality time. Mm -hmm. And you giving her a gift by cleaning off her car. Yeah, yeah. right, right. And sometimes yeah. it don't got to be materialistic on giving yeah. gifts. Mm -hmm. It don't have to be. It's mm -hmm. the smallest thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then the physical touch, of course, hey, babe, when you get ready to leave because you finna go to your warm car, give yeah. me a kiss. Right. Mm -hmm. And then now when you make it to work, I'm about to send you this. Baby, you looked so beautiful walking outside that door. Girl, mm -hmm. I was looking at you and that butt was, whoo. Words of affirmation. Yeah. Words of affirmation. Mm -hmm. Right. Because some women now, and I noticed this, and I had this come to me, women want to hear that stuff. Oh, they, yeah. Because sometimes they be like, babe, do I look, did I look cute today? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And a lot yeah. of times, they because they look for that. Yep. Mm -hmm. And if you don't say it to them, like, man, you was looking so beautiful today. Yeah. yeah. Like, you know, I'm a man, like I said, I, I'm not a butt man or, you know, breast man or whatever situation may be. Mm -hmm. You know, it's crazy. I love mm -hmm. eyes and lips. Mm -hmm. When it comes to, man, your lips are mm -hmm. gorgeous. Yeah, right. And and they like to hear stuff mm -hmm. like that. So when it yeah. comes down, it's physical touch, the biggest thing. Because yeah. I want to hug you. I want to kiss you. I want to touch you. And then quality time yeah. is, is simultaneously with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because in order for me to hug you, kiss you, do all of that extra, I got to have that time with you. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's right. So all of them actually play a part. And they, mm -hmm. the meaning, everyone got the same exact meaning to mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. It's just worded differently. The display of love. It's just a display of love. And yeah. that's the main word for all of these love languages, all five of them. The main word for all of them is love. Yeah. yeah. Because you need to put love into it. Like, I yeah, I shall not dare let my woman. When I was dating, the first thing I did with my, my lady car, when I mm -hmm. actually, you know, got with her, when she got a car, man, I made sure she had a remote start on her car. Mm hmm windows was tinted yeah she had any everything in the inside the radio everything mm -hmm. to fit her just to make her feel comfortable in that car yeah so when she knows like hey well if he's not starting up my car at least he did something for me to do yeah. it when he's not here right yeah because even, i can't go to work and start a car up. and even mm -hmm. going back mm -hmm. to like words like you were saying like you before you send your woman off to work or whatever before she goes to work you give her that compliment there's gonna be 50 guys that day that yeah. give her a compliment right but it means nothing to her she wants to hear that from you yeah there we go because mm -hmm. she she loves you so it's like a man who may not be very articulate or not know how to use his words mm -hmm. that could be uh, which i notice a lot of problems are people try to utilize love languages and it's not their strong suit yeah mm -hmm. so they just got to step outside the box and realize mm -hmm. just really study your woman and learn what she likes so that you can give her what she needs mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know because some people they they just don't know yeah and mm -hmm. you have to kind of like like i was saying in one of the other podcasts it's like getting on a boat going on an island and indulging in their culture yeah. learning their language um just various issues you know with their quality of life you just have to to do that in mm -hmm. relationships you know and, I, I put i'm sorry go ahead Gucci. and you know it's great because i when the, the words are affirmation i actually want i actually tell the people i date if i'm dating somebody mm -hmm. do do that to me yeah. Say, I, I like that text message mm -hmm. yeah. because mm -hmm. now what happens is when you get home or when i get home that physical touch gonna happen yeah <laughs> right you know what i mean right. like I won't like when you. It's a sequence. It's a sequence. Yeah. So yeah. it's like if I'm at work or if I'm out, you know, hustling, doing what I got to do to make money, whatever. You like, hey, babe, I'm thinking about you. Or you send me that one little pic, mm -hmm. you know, and I, and it ain't even all about that. But mm -hmm. you you doing that? You doing your 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 the words? Mm -hmm. yeah. That's gonna make me come home and do that physical touch. Mm -hmm. We finna spend that quality yeah. time. We finna, I'm about to give you a gift. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's gonna be an act of service. <laughs> <laughs> so you see that's for another podcast that's yeah. for another podcast <laughs> so mm -hmm. all of all, all of this plays into one yeah, man. It, yeah. it plays it, it ain't even just a man doing for the woman it's yeah. a woman doing for the man yeah. Yeah. and you know they say hey what's your main lo love language of course you got your top which you know yeah. mm -hmm. but to be honest all of them play because they play yeah, with absolutely. each other sometimes absolutely in order to make a marriage work like we, i know we talked mm -hmm. about the 100 100 i think this plays a really big part of that mm -hmm. right to make it make it you know the full circle and I, not yeah. only that i believe that this this has to qualify for both male and female oh, right yeah. they oh, both yeah. have to show the quality of time physical touch acts yeah. of service gifts words of affirmation yeah. now i chose and i remember we were talking mm -hmm. before the podcast and what we liked and i think mm -hmm. quality time and i'm gonna piggyback off of what you said mm -hmm. that uh th that i think to me that's the umbrella 
Yeah. You know, yeah. and with that comes everything else. Oh yeah, you know, there's, there's no doubt about it. I don't even yeah. have to explain it because you guys did a very well, yeah. uh, good job of explaining it. But quality time, I think, is number one because mm-hmm. everything after that, everything comes yeah. at after that, and especially a woman. Yeah. A woman loves quality time. We, me, oh, yeah. us three, we have careers that take a lot of our time. time. Yeah, very time consuming. Yeah. Not yeah. only that, we have our you know recreational time, things we mm-hmm. like to do outside of the house and things like that. And yeah. whenever it, me personally, I like mm-hmm. to involve my wife with everything mm-hmm. I do. Um, obviously, mm-hmm. I can't involve her in my job but yeah. i could involve her in things like this she's here all the time when you guys yeah. leave she'll be you know she'll be here to help me take down or whatever yeah, yeah. you know i like to involve her with everything because like i said if she's if yeah. she's there if she sees me you know the acts of service comes in yeah the gifts comes makes in. her feel wanted yeah yeah that yeah. makes her yeah. that makes her feel because you're bringing her in your world mm-hmm. so yeah. once again we go back you giving up the i for the us mm-hmm. if it's something that you like to do mm-hmm. And you don't bring your woman into something that you like to do. That's yeah. going to make her feel some type of way. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, you know, I play semi-pro football. So then mm-hmm. when I was dating, hey, baby, you come to a game? Yeah. That's my world. Mm-hmm. So come in it. Yeah. I'm, I'm inviting you in it. Yeah. Now we spend that, even though I'm on the field and you in the stands, mm-hmm. that's that quality time. I had an ex that did that. Like, to be, it was crazy because mm-hmm. I, I invited her to the game and we weren't even together at the time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, she came in with her, you know, team colors on yeah. i said oh, okay that's mm-hmm. what's up then after that i'm like well you know you mind because i just invited you into my world yeah yeah and then you know we was together at that time so then now that made her feel more wanted because mm-hmm. it's like okay this is something that he likes to do yeah yeah so now that's that quality time yeah, yeah. exactly that's that you know yeah. he like man that's what's up she, she's she's mm-hmm. feeling that now mm-hmm. and as, it's vice versa as we were talking earlier too i think we all agreed that gifts was our least favorite last that one gifts yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. why do you think yeah. that is for because me personally, I don't expect nothing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's, it, and when it say gifts, it's receiving mm-hmm. gifts. Yeah. yeah, I don't expect nothing from her. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. even like when it comes down to my birthday or anything, and if we're gonna talk materialistic wise yeah. or whatever, when it comes, I tell my woman right after get, I said I don't look for nothing for my birthday, yeah. not for Valentine's mm-hmm. Day, not for nothing. Because now let's get something clear: Valentine's Day and Sweetest Day is two different things. Mm-hmm. Valentine's yeah. Day is for the women. There's no way. Like sweetest day is for <laughs> me. <laughs> sweetest day, I don't know. Sweetest day is but for you, men, really. But sweetest you, day isn't a holiday to me. But you, you know what? It's not a holiday. That's <laughs> nah. why I really kind of don't celebrate. Yeah. But the reason I say that, because I, I, you know, I kind of got into some arguments with that, but that's not here yeah. there. That's yeah. a different podcast. Yeah. It just goes to the point when receiving gifts, I don't expect nothing. Mm-hmm. Only thing I, I expect and only gift that you're going to give yeah. me, that you should give me, is your love. Your loyalty, your love. love like, all could, of that. I could buy myself whatever I want to buy. Yeah, facts. Um, that's not very unique at all i mean what do you buy a man that has everything you Mm -hmm, know exactly i mean i don't have everything but i have everything Mm -hmm. that i desire Mm -hmm. at the moment yeah so you got to think outside of that you know like do something for me like acts of service or write Mm -hmm. me a letter there we go or you know remember something very impactful like gifts i mean i dated a woman who her number one out of all five were gifts. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I struggled in that relationship yeah. because I, I started to resent it because I felt like she was very materialistic. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Every time we go out to dinner, she would want me to buy her a piece of jewelry or something like, or mm-hmm. give her uh, money. Or I just resented that after a while because I'm like, well, I, the only thing I thought about, I was like, what if, I, what if I'm not the man I am? What if I lose everything mm-hmm. and I'm, I'm broke? What, 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 what value? Yeah. Right. What value do I have to you now? Yeah. Because you're so used to these gifts, and mm-hmm. you know, I, I stuck with it for a little bit, but then over time, I just was like, man, this woman's so materialistic, and mm-hmm. I'm just, I'm a deeper person than that. Mm-hmm. So I feel like, you know, it's just. But see, in a dynamic of that, mm-hmm. it man, it changes due to the fact of you could be with somebody. Mm-hmm. And you could be in love with them, whatever situation is, and mm-hmm. they could be materialistic like yeah. this was. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, understand something. Now, is it really truly love if you looking if you just getting mm-hmm. getting gifts or giving gifts or whatever? Yeah. But is gee, it, what if a woman does give you uh, the, the five languages, mm-hmm. yeah. but gives being the number one, but she still shows you quality time? She still shows. Oh, that's you great. Rest. That's 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 fine. But is she still great. materialistic? She don't have to be. It, so. I, and I talked to f- females like literally mm-hmm. just recent. I had somebody just hit me up and I was like, yeah, why are you even contacting me? Mm-hmm. And because yeah. you want me to help you out with something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or you want me to do something for you. I can't do nothing with you because that's all you're looking at. Your yeah. mind is focused mm-hmm. on a dollar sign it's or just, whatever. Her mentality was like 
transactionary like Ex- yeah right. like, what can you do for me and it's like i i had a discussion but like before i like ended it i was like well i expressed how i felt and i was like well why why is gifts why why does that mean so much to you right. and she told me she just said she had a dad who was never around and he was really wealthy mm-hmm. and his way of uh supplement yeah supplementing his lack of time was just right. giving her gifts and money right and that was people don't realize the power that love languages have they can literally formulate how you love an individual in your adult life mm-hmm. so then the thing is do you really love somebody if i gotta give you something is that really truly mm-hmm. love if i have mm-hmm. to give you yeah buy you stuff if I, that's not love to me yeah you don't, gotta, you don't gotta buy me nothing just yeah. spend time with me yeah. spend time we could be doing the most mundane things it doesn't matter so from what i'm hearing and let me ask you yeah. gentlemen this yeah. so in order for a woman to be valid to you guys in order for a woman to mm-hmm. actually show that she loves you do these five languages have to be in a certain order not necessarily but i would actually say um receiving get well not really mm-hmm. to be honest i look at it Mm-hmm. I mean, all five uh, languages do apply, but I really place emphasis on my strongest three. Yeah. I mean, because they all play a part. At, you know, I like getting like mm-hmm. if if uh, my significant uh, significant other gave me a new watch or something like that. And she knew I loved that watch. I'm like, whoa, oh, that was nice. I mm-hmm. like that. It's more meaningful because I talked about it and it was something that she remembered yeah. versus just something that she just bought. But I place emphasis on like my top three. Like, which would be, I said, what did I say? Um, quality time. Quality time, uh, physical touch, mm-hmm. and then uh, words of affirmation. Like, mm-hmm. I, I love hearing words. Mm-hmm. I love hearing endearing things. And just a person being vulnerable, a woman expressing herself, mm-hmm. that's beautiful to me. Yeah. But I've met people, i met women who, words don't mean nothing to them mm-hmm. because they've been finessed their, their whole lives. They've mm-hmm. been heartbroken their whole lives. They've been told, sold lies mm-hmm. by pretty much every other man that yeah. they've dealt with. So words don't mean anything. They want to see actions. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's just, like I said, love languages, they really dictate the course of how an individual loves. Mm-hmm. And we really have to be aware of that because we want to grow up and be in successful relationships. We want to mm-hmm. have a sense of longevity in our relationships. Yeah. And when you meet that person, you just you want that to be a big factor in that mm-hmm. because you need to learn that man's love language. You yep. need to learn that woman's love language. Right. Yep. Does it have to be in any chronic, uh, any type of order? No. But you do need to place emphasis on the strengths, like mm-hmm. or the ones that they put more of a priority right, on, right of course you know and yeah. so, just focus on that and the rest of it will come together you know so mm-hmm. i can look at it as this um because you know i always try to paint a picture try to you know think about it a woman come to me and you know with these five lo- love mm-hmm. languages the acts of service if you know or we could say the gift yeah, yeah. right she give me a gift mm-hmm. the acts of that gift the act of service of that is going to get that gift yeah yeah the quality, the quality time is spending the time to get that gift. Mm-hmm. The word, the, the the physical touch is giving me that gift, mm-hmm. and me saying thank you, and she's saying this is, you know, because you've been a great man. That's the words of affirmation. Yeah. So they can play a part of it, like my brother said. Do mm-hmm. you can you I you 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 pick the the top three, your top three. Mm-hmm. To focus on, sure, mm-hmm. that's just strength. That's what you really look for because that's what I look for. I look for that physical touch and quality time. Yeah. But if it managed, she managed to come and bring all of that and mix that up together mm-hmm. and managed to present that to me. Yeah. Cool. That's fine. Mm-hmm. Just understand that you know I really I don't want nothing from yeah. you. Yeah. Right. That, that's how you could tell the difference between like your example earlier. Earlier, you said a woman that just gives you gifts. Mm-hmm. How do you know? But she does incorporate the other um, Mm -hmm. love languages. Mm -hmm. I feel like at least that woman is trying to incorporate it all. Even though like that's her strength or that's her thing, she's at least trying to utilize it and it's more Mm well-balanced as opposed to she just giving gifts, gifts, Mm -hmm. gifts, or expecting gifts, gifts, gifts. You know what I mean? So it's just all about the due diligence and you just have to watch what the priority that people place things on, mm-hmm. you know? So, mm-hmm. well, that, that that's yeah. a very, uh, this was a very interesting topic, the love languages. That's, that's yeah. a very, and you, uh, you didn't really uh, know about it. Prior. I didn't really know about it until yeah. we, we talked about it. Yeah. Re- get the book, man. Yeah. Yeah. Order the book. It's, uh, I've read that book 
hundreds of times. What is the book called? Do you remember? Um, the five Love. Five Love. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, I'm gonna just say shout out to the person that actually um put this out, the love mm-hmm. language, because mm-hmm. that it had yeah. to be said. Oh, it, yeah. it really did have to be said because mm-hmm. sometimes, uh, you know, we can come up with so many mm-hmm. topics, but then, you know, yeah. again, want you guys can comment and share whatever and, and let us know, you mm-hmm. know, our next topic or what you want us to maybe talk about or whatever. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. to the person that actually um, placed Shout that out. down. Yeah. Lil, Shout Lil Debra 91. Yeah. Lil Debra Thank you so dialogue. much. Yeah, because that, that's yeah. a that's a hitter right there. Mm-hmm. And and I can tell and, and, and you can comment it. On this, mm-hmm. I could possibly tell what your love language is automatically because mm-hmm. by you speaking on it, I know quality time is possibly one and then physical touch, yes, which sir. is the opposite of me. So if that's yeah. the case, <laughs> <laughs> no, but no, uh, you know, shout out to yeah. you, you know, what I'm saying for that for that topic because yeah. that's that's a, a yeah. nice topic. That's a very we interesting just, topic. Yeah, yeah we just want to encourage everybody keep dropping comments because we have our topics, but I mean. Every once in a while, somebody will drop something, mm-hmm. and we're like, "Whoa, that's mm-hmm. a, that's really dynamic. That's amazing." So, just keep commenting, man. Like, we're very accessible people. Mm-hmm. We're very responsive. So, we love perspectives from everybody. So, yeah, if you guys have like like you said, if you guys want us to talk about a certain topic, mm-hmm. please write it on the mm-hmm. comments. And once again, you can find us on iHeartRadio. You can find us on Pandora. You can uh, find us on uh, what else did I say? On Apple, Apple music, Podcasts. All platforms. Yeah. Every platform. I just yeah. like saying it because it makes us yeah. feel like, man, we, man, made, we listen, made it. <laughs> listen, iHeart. Listen, the, my biggest one when he said it, it was iHeart, man. iHeartRadio. I, I yeah. always listen to iHeart, yes. man. Yes. You know, shout out to Breakfast Club. Hopefully y'all see this. And, yeah. You know, this <laughs> Anyways, yeah. um, I always listen to iHeart and when he, when you know Pilo Dot said that man it was like man that was major yep. like I get it Apple Music and all of that and not to put nobody else mm-hmm. down or anything shout out to all of y'all that allowed yeah. us to be on y'all platform it's just iHeart I was like man yeah. cuz I really just sent them something on mm-hmm. just that about yeah. you know a contest and I was like hey let's try yeah. it yeah you know what I mean and just to be on that man we it's just a shout out man to all of our viewers once again we we mm-hmm. give it out to all of our viewers to the mm-hmm. all the platforms that are allowing us to place it on there because they can easily take us down oh yeah absolutely you know so we, we give shout outs to everybody you know once again we're not here to bash anybody mm-hmm. so when you're watching this we're not here to bash nobody mm-hmm. yeah make sure you hit that yeah, like make sure you hit it. that follow make mm-hmm. sure you hit that subscribe mm-hmm. and don't forget to share this with your friends share yeah. share share because of you yeah. we're creating these podcasts and because of you you were continuing to create these podcasts yeah. nonstop. So mm-hmm. please continue to share, tell your friends about this, share, share, download the, uh, and we're not getting paid by our heart radio yet, mm-hmm. but yet, but keyword, yes. keyword. Yep. <laughs> we we got to be masters of manifestation. <laughs> we got to speak it into existence. Speak yes, into sir. Existence. Yes, sir. Plant that seed, plant that seed. <laughs> so yeah. download the heart radio app, download the Pandora app and all these other podcast platforms mm-hmm. and look for elite talk with g and tj and we're just gonna pop up and you can catch every episode and if you want to watch the video version which you'll probably are now or maybe not uh you go to our youtube channel uh mm-hmm. which is digital 262 or to our facebook uh, channel which is digital 262 and then there you can find the video version of this website uh, of this podcast or you can go to our website which is mm-hmm. www.digital 262 Dot com. Hey, y'all yeah. should watch the video because oh, if yeah. y'all manage to see how clean Lambra be every time Ooh, TJ be in this, boy, clean. I, I like to watch the video. I like yeah. to watch the video due to the fact the boy be clean. Boy, clean I, be looking at, I be looking at this like, oh, my brother, clean this boy. Uh, you know, yeah. you know my, my wife made a suggestion the other day is uh, we should do shoe cams. We should show Lambert's shoes. Oh, like on uh, Wendy Williams? Yeah, Wendy Williams. Yeah. How'd you got the shoe cam? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We could do that. Yeah. yeah. Be the man. Be, listen. Yeah. Y'all just watch the video. Watch yeah. the video. You see my boy Clint. <laughs> these guys are too kind. If, if you want to send us a message, uh, the, both of these fine gentlemen's uh, uh, information <laughs> will be on the bottom of this video. Yeah. Send them if you want to send them a message. Send them. A, hey, and by the way, G, did you ever get some lasagna? No, not yet. <laughs> I'm still waiting on that. I don't know. I don't know if they mm. hit me in my inbox or not. Hey, look, man, we want some lasagna. Yeah. So, uh, you know, right, right on the comments, <laughs> we want some lasagna. So if there's anybody that can do that, anybody. Anybody can make those out. <laughs> we, we can sit on the podcast and eat and talk about it. Yeah, <laughs> we'll, we'll give you a yeah. shout out too. Lasagna provided by? Yeah, yeah. We, we most definitely do. We can sit in the podcast and eat, man. Yeah. If anybody oh, wanted yeah. to feed us, we mm. got it. Uh, oh, th- yeah. But thank you guys for watching this podcast. This has been another episode of Elite Talk. You guys, have gentlemen, have any final thoughts? 
Oh, go ahead, my brother. Only thing I can say, man, you know, stay blessed. You know, stay up. You know, remember, not today, Satan. Not today, Satan. That's the best thing to do. Like, this is the most inspiring. Not today, Satan. Don't let him control your life. Let God do it. Yes, sir. I just want to say to people, if you're chasing a goal or any aspiration or any point that you want to get to in life or you got your eye on something, mm -hmm. um, just stay diligent, man. Stay grinding. Stay working. Um, keep your eye on the prize. Be the eye of the tiger because, you know, they say that sometimes when you're on a path to success, you know, the fruit, you know, it could be bitter, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. But the success is so 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 so, so sweet, so sweet, so sweet. Mm -hmm. So I mean, like I said, we're on we're on all these other platforms and stuff, and you know we're doing our thing, and you know we're just running that marathon, and we're just yes, we got our eye on the prize right now. So I just want to encourage everyone, you know, if there's a specific goal, you know, just keep pushing because once you reach that that um, that pinnacle or you cross the finish line and you take a bite out of that fruit that you've worked so hard for, mm -hmm. it'll be the sweetest. Oh, so yeah. I just want to encourage everybody to just stay up. Yeah. Words of wisdom. So again, this has been another Digital 262 production. Thanks mm -hmm. for watching Elite Talk. All right. Take it easy. Peace.